Well, thanks for coming. Welcome to the jungle. And thanks for the follow. This whole multi-streaming thing is super new for me, so I, I appreciate your patience. But if all goes well, I'll be streaming on any platform that will accept me. I don't want to be exclusive. I want everybody in the world to learn about virtual pinball as much as they can. It's free. Well, you know, the tables are free. The hardware is not. You got to go buy the hardware today. I'm joined by special guest Phil from Cleveland Software Design. He has taken it upon himself to start his own business for people that play virtual pinball. And he creates a lot of uh, specified hardware for you to build the cabinet you want. As we get into the interview, you'll get a little, little more about what make, makes Phil tick. While I don't have any of Phil's products in my machine, I can personally highly recommend his stuff to you. Um, Porgy and I got a kit from Phil. Um, we did a little review on it. It it went into the cabinet uh, when I gave away a virtual pinball cabinet last year, which was a $900 value. Uh, we had an all-in-one DOF feedback kit from Phil in there. Um, you can purchase your own parts from Phil at Cleveland Software Design. There's a link in chat. but. I'm not here to sell you stuff. Virtual pinball is truly a free hobby, and you can get in without any money. Um, you just download the software, you put it on your desktop, and you go. Um, the whole purpose of Game Club Central and VPin Hub is to educate those that, that don't feel comfortable in this hobby. I, myself, two years ago, jumped in and said, oh, this is great, but I had no idea what I was in for or the ignorance um, that that I had. I still have a long, long way to go, but I feel like I've gotten to know the community, the creators, the hardware, the software, you know. It's, um, it's been a really fun journey for me. I've really enjoyed this. And without further ado, let's get into the interview. This is a shorter interview, again, pre-recorded. Um, but um, hey, Vinny, good to see you. No, no, two years of VPIN, at least solid VPIN. Um, but I digress. I'm going to take you over to my computer, and we're going to start the interview. Thanks for coming. Hi, everybody. My mm -hmm. name's Marty, and it's I'm me. joined today by Phil from Dax. Cleveland Software Dax. Design. Hi, Phil. How I can't are you? believe it. I can hardly. I'm believe doing it good. Myself. How's it going? I am going to close bad. Streamer Bot. I'm, I'm hungry. How about you? Just to yeah, stop yeah, extra my... sound. The namesake so uh I, i'm gonna start uh we made our own it's cheese and um it's delicious so i'm gonna eat it what yeah this is marty from the past i got uh there's a local place called the wild goose i Ooh. see i'll hold it up here yeah so you can see it yep. i'll see if i can sit and in the chair like 10 minutes from me. there's a little area called downtown willoughby and they're in there so i got the today i have a uh i can pull one of these out it's called their wild goose balls. <laughs> is there ricotta on that? No, it's uh, onion and some tomatoes and these like homemade meatballs. That looks really good. So, it's delicious. One of my favorites. Homemade so, meatballs, folks. You, yeah. you can only get that in Cleveland. Uh, I assume you're in Cleveland based off of the name yeah. of your company. I'm about, I'm about 20 minutes east of cleveland i live in a little smaller town willoughby well us uh, ohio boys have to stick together when you're in columbus you're gonna have to go slip right fly by the seat of my pants brother that stuff on fire what do you think yeah that's fun for me yeah i my my I, my life is just tinkering and and blowing stuff up so <laughs> i'm anxious to see your workshop i've i've seen you in a few of your videos um I, you know, down here in the uh, in the content, you're you're there with your tester and your power supply, and I, I can only imagine you and your little mad genius workshop there. So, um, it's someday. actually pretty small. 
I can. I mean, I can show you around. You want the virtual tour? Nope. You know why? Okay. I'm coming to see you. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Right. Stop on over. We're gonna do a workshop tour, and then you and I are gonna go sling some balls at the local pinball parlor. So, just stick me on I'm your calendar be... for later. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, we have a huge contest going away right now. We're giving away a virtual pinball cabinet, and Phil was kind of the catalyst of that idea for me. He doesn't know that. I'm surprising him right now. But when he gave Patrick and I a kit to review, he said, hey, I'm going to send you all of my products. And I'm like, that's awesome. We'll, you know, we'll pay for it. And he said, no, no, no. I want to give it to you. I want you guys to, to see what it's like and give your honest opinion. So we're in the middle of doing that. And we're going to provide that with you along with this interview. But I had an epiphany. I'm like, I don't need this after the review. I'd really like to throw it in a cabinet and give it away. So thanks to Phil, ladies and gentlemen, your virtual pinball cabinet giveaway is going to have a full direct output feedback kit, feedback kit with a power supply. Solenoids already attached, right, Phil? It's ready to go. It's plug and play. You don't need to know anything. Um, so thank you very much, Phil. Hats off. Um, you are a saint to the community. I've seen the way you support the people that purchase from you. You're always there. You're always answering the silly little questions. Um, I can't recommend to you a better business here in the US for um, virtual pinball hardware, guys. You're never gonna see better support. Um, a lot of our audience, this is my personal opinion piece, but really enjoys at Legends Pinball and uh, Arcade One Up, and they want to take the next plunge into FX3 or VPX, fills the conduit. He makes it easy. It's plug and play. It's stick it in your cab and go. And uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit now. We're going to get to know Phil a little bit. And Phil might even show you some new products he's working on. So without further ado, Phil, this is your show. I know you're in Cleveland. Give me a little personal fluff. What what are you all about? Sure. So, boy, I'll just talk a little bit about myself. I have, I'm like, lived in Cleveland my whole life. And I love it here. A lot of people snub Cleveland. But I think it's a great place to live. We got all four seasons. And our summers are wonderful here. And, uh, and I thought when I started this business many, many years ago, actually, because my background is really in software. And I had a bunch of different side gigs I was doing for different places I'd worked on in the past. And I thought, hey, Cleveland, I really wanted to go with Cleveland software, but that wasn't around. So Cleveland software design was the next best thing. And, uh, and so here we are. And then, you know, <laughs> I've always loved pinball my whole life, though. So uh, even, I don't know, probably when I was a little kid, I remember I was at a campground once. That was my first introduction to pinball. I, there was a pinbot there. Ooh. And I was just, yeah, I was enamored by that machine. I don't even know if I ever got to play it. I remember I just I just sat in that in that arcade and just looked at that machine waiting for someone to come up to play it so that I could watch like the ball bounce around, you know, and it was, it was just a little kid. And so one day I was, you know, I had kids of my own and and I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know, pinball machines aren't that expensive. Mm -hmm. I can own a pinball machine. <laughs> so, so I went on Craigslist and sure enough, I couldn't believe it. There's a pin bot for sale. And so that's that's what I bought. My first pinball machine ever was a pin bot. What'd you pay for it if you don't mind me asking? Do you remember? Uh, I think it was twelve hundred dollars. And when it was that? Some work. When was it? Yeah. It's probably ten. 10 years ago. Or I was going to say, because now that pin bot's worth five grand. I mean, you're not going to get it for 1200 It That's needed awesome. a lot of work. I mean, I had to rebuild all the boards on sure. it. And so I, I did that. And and it, I had it working flawlessly. And then, of course, then I got on the Craigslist. You know, I just I just go on there every day and be looking for who wants to trade, you know, like trade a pin bot for another pinball machine. Because my wife and I had this deal. It was like, you can get a pinball machine, but you better never get more than one pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> They're like Pokemon. You have to catch them all. It's horrible. Yeah. So I always had to find someone who's willing to trade with me. And uh, and I did that. You know, I had I went through five or six pinball machines. 
but pinball was still my favorite. I, lo- I still love pinball, but all the dress. I ended up with the Jurassic Park, which was a lot of fun too. Okay, the the uh, the old one from the old one, yeah, yeah, from the nineties with the yeah. dra- with the um, T Rex that constantly breaks. Yeah, That's a great T-Rex game. <laughs> yep, that was a good one. I'm. I, put the, uh, I did the pin sound in it too, which had and then I had all the real like you know Jurassic Park sounds in there and everything. It really you got was, into it. Yeah. Oh, it was. I mean, it's such a great hobby. But then I thought. You know, I can only have one pinball machine. Uh, I really have always been intrigued by the visual, you know, virtual pinball arena, uh, but I never really tried it out. It's not like something you can like find, you know, unless no. you know someone's got one. It's you, know, you can't really experience it. Somebody has so to tell knew, you. Yeah, <clears throat> I never knew how good it was going to be, but so I finally just said, "All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out." And so I I got the cabinet, installed everything, got a pretty nice PC. And the crazy, I was so amazed, actually. Uh, VPX. I mean, the shots that I remembered from Pinbot, the shots that I knew really well from Jurassic Park and from all the other ones that I own, they're the same. Like, these creators have done such a good job, a fabulous job of emulating these things. And I, and I, I thought, I can have a thousand pinball machines. <laughs> like, in one. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so then, of course, you know, it's a little dry without the sounds and everything. So then I started thinking, how can I get in this? And then I started, just like everyone else does, I started that journey. And uh, and the, the biggest thing I found, though, is there wasn't really a lot of great solutions for the uh, the solenoids overheating, even though that was the least expensive route to go. It was like solenoids and a Saint Smart. You know, it was like, you can get a whole system set up for a couple hundred bucks if you just go the, the cheap and easy route. Mm-hmm. But solenoids overheating is a real big issue. Like I actually was, I had them without the, my life extenders. And I was like, these things are getting so hot. Like they're cooking themselves in there. You know? <laughs> like, Plus they're in wood. I mean, you don't want yeah. that. <laughs> exactly. We're not That's working I, with UL listing. I mean. <laughs> yep. So then I did the life extender thing and I put them up on eBay and I was just like, let's see what happens. And man, I couldn't believe it. People were actually buying this thing. And, and uh, they work. And they work, yeah. I wonder who who my first customer is, though, like out there somewhere. <laughs> it's just... Well, if you haven't heard from them, that's yeah. good. It means yeah, it's still yeah, working. right. <laughs> still... Um, no, you you took a lot of the logic. Like, I mean, there's flipper logic built into Pinscape, but I mean, you've made a hardware solution for that. You know, you've yeah, that was. <clears throat> And that was the thing, like, even though it's, it's in, it's in Pinscape, it's still not, not like fail safe. No, it's designed for a different piece of hardware. It actually works really well with my real flippers, but that requires a whole nother level of wiring that most average people won't want to get into. And you can still overheat. I mean, your life extenders are, are the perfect solution for that. So, <clears throat> um, good stuff. And for the record, Pinbot was also my first, um, Followed by uh, his lovely lady, the machine. Uh, oh, of, you got the machine. <laughs> some of my best memories. I nev- I've never owned a pinball machine here at home, um, but many, many pizza places have I played Pinbot and the machine and many tournaments since then, and uh, they're still favorites. Um, Pinbot, I still love it. The, the rules are just so simple, but that's still the shots are still challenging enough that it keeps you keeps you on your toes. It's yeah. a great it's a great game. And then you get Jackbot, which is the same thing, just with a different flavor. You'll see yeah. jazz on your pinball. Um, enough about pinball. Are you married? You have kids? Yeah. I, uh, I've been married for 16 years. Wow. And I have six kids. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, how I, do you have time to own a business? Uh, after everyone goes to bed. I thankfully don't have to sleep very much. Okay. So <laughs> I can relate to that. I know I messaged you once at four in the morning and I saw you online or it appeared you were online. I'm like, are you awake? Yeah, I was not online at I, four in the morning. I know. But it's fine. It's fine. Very, yes, he was, I, people. I, don't let him fool yeah. you. He was totally awake. <laughs> um, no, I mean, that shows your dedication to not only what you're passionate about, but the hobby in general. So um, we all appreciate that. Um, 
I, I've been showing a little bit of the products on down below in the content piece, but um, what are your offerings? We're gonna we're gonna review all of your offerings, but from your perspective, what are your hot sellers? What do you recommend to people um, as they're first starting out? What what should be their their first venture into your products? I think the biggest thing that I offer is the turnkey solution. So for somebody who it's it's great for someone who's just started. They don't want to put. They don't necessarily want to put. You know, sound effects, out. ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. We got sound effects. Sound effects? I am clipping that out. No, it's my phone. Uh, and give me a second, because I'm clipping this out. I do not want that in the video. I am a horrible interviewer. Start over. So, so um, what, what, what do you offer that uh, people, you know, first getting into the hobby might, might go for first? What would you recommend? So... If you just want to see what DOF is like, then that's where my flipper kits come in play. And you know, you get one of those, it literally just plugs into your buttons, and then you get DOF on your flippers. It won't you it won't give you the full DOF, you know, solution, but it gets you it gives you an idea of, oh, this is really nice. And all of a sudden you're like, I'd like that to happen on my pop bumpers and my slings. So then you can you can continue you know down the path. Uh, so, so that's kind of like the first the first step that a lot of people take in that one the flipper kit it's not dependent on like vpx or any solution in doff it's literally if i push the button it fires a solenoid is that true yeah so yeah, that's how for at legends people you can have feedback in zakaria games correct yeah that's Wait. mind blowing and next level guys i mean you can't even do that with doff so that's a great yeah. solution, Phil. It's great. It does only work on flippers, which is the unfortunate part. But that's what gets people into it. You know, I think that's what happens a lot of times is they, they start there and then they realize what VPX has to offer. Right. And they're like, oh, the tables are better. The physics are better. The physics are the big thing for me. And there's less delay. Like there's no flipper delay because you can have as powerful PC as you want. All that stuff adds up to making it a much better pinball experience. It immerses you. It makes you feel like it's a real pinball machine, more so if you have the feedback and the responsiveness from the cab. I agree. So then, yeah, that I mean, the next thing is it's just the turnkey solution. So some people love the wiring, and I totally re, you know get that and respect that. That's that's some people really enjoy doing it. Others don't want to get into it. You know, they they maybe are just like into building the cabinet, like they're woodworking people, you know, they love building the cabinet, they get the back cabinet together, but then when it comes to hooking everything up, there's maybe not, yeah, not something they enjoy or even want to Or intimidated, to I find. Or intimidated, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's... That's where I offer the turnkey slot. I, I offer the thing all assembled, and I also do offer a, a kit that's unassembled, but it comes with all the wires and everything, because if you're not doing it on a regular basis, You'll end up spending another hundred fifty dollars just on miscellaneous parts to right. put it in. I I went through it myself. You're right. <laughs> so you actually, when you get the parts kit, you probably end up saving money because I give you exactly what you need to put everything together, every little you know screw and nut and bolt and wire length and everything, which is you're just attaching it to the cab and plugging it into power and USB, right? Yeah, and I like that solution for a lot of people because you still get to do all the work. Uh, and you save a little bit of money because you're not paying me to do your work right. for you. <laughs> but you're putting everything on the bars and you're putting the power supply and wiring it to all the... But yeah. you supply great documentation to walk them through it too. It could be better, but yeah. <laughs> I was I was actually thinking of making a tutorial video as we review your stuff. Here's how you do it. I mean, it's it's already yeah. simple, but why not make it brainless? So I mean, I would love it if the community would help with that kind of stuff because that's the big thing is i i want to spend my time making new products that's where we want to see you yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i'll see what i can do um we got a lot of community behind us and a lot of people asking what they can do um you know i i think the contest is going to get your name out there more and maybe my hope the winner is local and i can travel out there and we can build it together and I can, you know, work with them to build your kit and we can film it and, and share that as a tutorial. We'll see what happens, but I'm hopeful. Fun, yeah.
Um, thanks again for donating a full kit um, to us. And uh, it, it's really appreciated. The community um, will, will love that. Um, so thanks. Sorry, I keep saying it. But I'm happy to, I'm happy. You know what? Here's the thing that I love. I love helping people out. And I love watching someone uh, able to enjoy pinball and get DOF support on their, on their machine. And that's why I'm so involved. Like when, when you buy something from me and you send me an email, I respond, I help you through every step. So even though my documentation might not be perfect yet, I've never had a situation where someone wasn't able to really Can't get it working. It. Yeah. No, I, hey, don't be too hard on yourself. Your documentation is really good for a one man show. Okay. Um, it's really good. And this you can tell you're community driven because like i said earlier you're you're in there you're supporting them but you sound like me what you get joy from isn't the money it's the smile on their face like when you're interviewing with kong look look at the grin on his face he's got a perma grin because he knows this is an awesome solution for his at games legends pinball cap but i mean the joy you bring people is probably why you do it more than the money <clears throat> absolutely yeah, um, it's I see that in your responses, for what it's worth. So it comes across. Thank you. Oh. Um, well, do you, do you have anything you're cooking up in the shop? Do you want to show off anything new? You, you have been sharing rumors of a shaker motor. I think I saw it on your website today. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Shaker Start motor there. is out. Have, Shake I me, baby. Right so... Here's hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn that the other way. We need to see that motor. Folks, that is an industrial strength. Holy moly. A and the, the weight? Oh, my goodness. That's, that's more of a weight than a stern shaker motor. Am I wrong? Yeah. It's bigger, yeah. It's, it's yeah. quite a bit bigger. <clears throat> wow. So um, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll move your cabinet quite a bit. And it's super easy to install because it's just the four screws on the bottom. There's no housing to worry about because it's all this is all aluminum right here. It's really yeah. nice. Like this anodized aluminum looks really sharp at a cabinet too. So Wow. What are you retailing that for? It's ninety five dollars right now. Hopefully I you know I keep it as cheap as I can. And what's it power <laughs> off of? Is it twenty four or is it twelve volts? Twelve volt um, shaker motor, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You'll you'll <laughs> if you run it at twelve volts, it's gonna it's gonna shake too much, probably. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> you How do we control that? WF. Yeah, I sell a shaker motor controller. Uh, you can buy them off Amazon too. Okay. Um, just but, a PWM uh, control. Or you can, or you can just, if you have a Pinscape, you can control it through DOF through a PWM output. Okay. I actually, on all of my boards now, I actually add a uh, shaker motor controller on there. So. Oh, so if you have your brain behind it. The PWM controls right there on the board. Yep, you can just adjust how fast you want your shaker motor just right this little adjustment knob. Awesome. And it hooks up top of 12 and you're good to go. Nice. Um, all in one is super nice. Thank you. That's smart design. Yeah. Um, 95 bucks, 12 volts. You can't go wrong with that. And then you, you just mount it down into the base of your cab with a couple of screws, I assume? Yeah, I'll provide the screws with it, and you can you mount provide it. the screws with it. Wow, Stern doesn't even give you screws. <laughs> you can mount it on the side, or you can mount it, you know, on the base. However, you want to mount it. Have you but experimented with that? It. Do you find a better position? It's interesting. Like on the side, I did experiment it. You know, when it's like this, since the shaker motor is rotating like this, yeah, it kind of does an up and down shake more. On the side, it'll shake the cabinet side, side, side to side. That's kind of an interesting experience. You know. Depends on what you're going for, but I think you'll actually feel it more on, on your hands because your hands are on the side of the cabinet and it actually moves the cabinet to the side. So it's a cool, it's an interesting way. I've never seen anyone mount something like that, but I thought about that when I uh, designed this thing. I was like, that'll be interesting to try putting it yeah. on the side of the cabinet. So I'll try that in the mini pin. I'm building a mini pin right now. I'm going to, I'm going to grab that from you and you're all in one kit and just make it easy on myself, but I'll, I'll try it on the side because I honestly don't have room on the bottom. Yeah, so yeah, see how it, see what you think. I'm expecting my cabinet to walk through the room. We'll see. <laughs> it'll it'll get pretty loud for sure. Yeah. Uh, pretty pretty shaky. Um, all right, so there's a shaker motor. Uh, you cooking up anything else? 
Yeah, I've got, uh, I have a light bar. Ooh, flash me, baby. Ooh. Yeah. Now, that's yeah. not the whole thing. That looks like a prototype. Is that just the backboard yeah. and waiting on it's the finishing touch? Keyboard. I have that is uh, an aluminum sexy. that's coming soon for it. Aluminum. Yeah. Yep, it's aluminum. I, I'm like, I'm Let's like, get no someone to frame. model that I'm thing. Like my thing. I want to make like everything is going to be like commercial grade stuff. Are you going to offer a, a chrome finish? Can I, can I dip just it in a little afternoon well? delight for you? I probably could, but yeah. <laughs> it's not worth the cost. It's not it's worth finding a vendor. No. no, you want it chrome to go find an auto shop. You'll be good. Um, so I have it up on my here. Can I? Yeah. Can I move this just for a second so you yeah. can see? Oh, we got we my, can handle it. We I put up a sign before the ride that there would be motion sickness. So yeah, if you see on the top of my cab, I've got the lights going. You see? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, so that's and you have RGB. It's not just flasher. Yeah, nice. Yeah, those are all RGB. They're and they're, they're super tight. They're DOF controlled. Yep. Nice. Yep. So that'll end up plugging in. So my board has this uh, little these this pin right here, and you, I'm going to sell this. I've got, I'm also working on this mini expansion board. It's going to be really low cost expansion board. Okay. So that you can use this. You just plug this into my board, and then plug the other end to the light bar, and you're done. You got lights. Are you starting to look at maybe RGB side strips and can you know lighten up buttons and yeah yeah I, I actually am working on that a little bit but there's only so many things I can do sure no 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 you're one man <laughs> show you do a great job for what you do and uh, I didn't expect you to show me two new products today honestly I knew about the shaker motor but you surprised me with that flasher bar I've got something else too well wait 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 don't show me yet because you you okay. you're killing me. Um, show me the flasher bar again, real quick. I want to see something on there. Okay. So I see the light board. How does the light too, board Terry. come off? Pick that off of there. Let me see that. Oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah. So these just unplug. Wait, wait a minute. So I could just put a new one on when it breaks? Like yep. plug and play and go? Completely replaceable, all your LEDs. Would you quit and... making things efficiently? I want to... I, I want modern society where after three months, it's no longer usable and I have to completely buy a brand new one. Stop. Oh, this is going to totally blow your mind then. So okay. my board, I'm ready. This, is coming, this is coming soon. All my boards. close my eyes. Every, Go ahead. Every single component on my boards is just going to be able to unplug. All the, all the output transistors and everything is just going to be able to just unplug and plug a new one in. So the boards themselves are literally just going to be a template. Stop. You can unplug the KL25Z, all the output transistors, everything. You just replace them. And I'm going to sell my website for two bucks each. So I'm pulling the stream over. You've officially made virtual pinball too easy. There must be a challenge. That's it. We're ending the interview. Phil's just killed it. <laughs> Modular was the next way you needed to go. That's awesome, man. Because yeah, replacing so a whole board is not... I mean, you've made it easy. You made the connectors, but... Now you can replace components on your board. How far along are you? Uh, that's coming really soon. I've really? Got, and, and so there's going to be a whole new board coming out pretty soon. It's going to be pretty much the same, but I'm going to have like 48 volt transistor versions. So you can run a, so you can just pop in a 48 volt one and run a, if you want to run a, a knocker, you can just put it on there. Wow. Uh, yeah. I run my knocker on 24 volts for what it's worth and it works just fine. Um, that's cool. And yeah. you know what I like more than your news? The smile on your face right now that you've created this. Dude, you're amazing. That's cool. Thanks, man. That's great. <laughs> no, it's... I'm jealous. I, w I wish I could... I mean, I, I can create ideas in my head, but I can't make them a reality. You are a talented man, and you think about the guy that's scared. I, that is... That's been lacking in this hobby. Yeah, it has. You've read MJR's guide. It's 900 pages. And you look at it and you go, I need a buddy to help me. This is awful. You're that guy. You've That's made it easy. Yeah, you can reach out to me and I'll answer you. Even if it's, I've, I've helped people install other people's stuff. You know, it's like, I don't care. If you, if you ask me a question, I'll answer it. You know, <laughs> you heard it here first. If you buy a product from Phil, he will personally help you get that installed. Just kidding. <laughs> don't expect that.
You can call me. Mm -hmm. I'll help you. Um, that's you that's. Else? I'm sorry. You want to see a new one? Another another new product? Dude, I don't know if I can handle it. Go ahead. All right. This is this is another thing. I mean, all these ideas, by the way, come from the community. From people having. So do mine. I mean, we right. we're stronger together. <laughs> yeah. So so this is um. This is going to be like an easy button kit. So okay. You plug, again, you take my board and you plug one in here and then you take the expansion board and you plug another side here. And now you can plug all your buttons in, RGB buttons, LED lights buttons. Lights and everything. input. It, lights and input. They all just go into this board and you can run it like to the front of your cab. Where were you <laughs> eight months ago when I built my cab? Because it also has these little guys. So it'll, these will string off of it. And these are for your flippers and your sidemen. So you don't have to run wires anywhere. You just... You just have this on your front of your cab, this on the side of your cab, and you just and I'll I'll provide all the wires with the with the connections already crimped on. Wow! You just plug everything in. What? Yeah. So no way. Easy. You can't make it any easier, I don't think. Honestly, I mean, I I love some. We've of the needed other a guy like that. Phil forever. The documentation's hard to read. You got to buy wire. When you buy wire, you got to buy a, a hundred or fifty feet of it, and you need three feet of it. You know, it's ridiculous. So, um, wow. That's um that's game changing. Yeah. So hopefully, what I yeah what I want to do is provide everything you need, so you don't have to go and buy little stuff here and there. It'll just everything will come with it. That's, so that that's coming down the pipeline. Cool. I'm, uh, I'll give you my opinion on single board computers here in a sec. Leaf buttons that'll uh, that'll work with that button kit. That's nice, I and oh. I I assume maybe something to light those buttons up. Yeah, they'll be RGB. They'll, they'll actually have the RGB inside of the button. Ooh, rather than a ring around it. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. That's smart. Yep. So I, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if I can. I'm still working on that one. That's, yeah. that's a little tricky to get that all designed and, and working right. But. We'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Um, I know we're a smaller audience than like Kongs R Us down there where uh, you got a lot of recognition in the uh, retro community. Uh, if you guys haven't From checked the that out. Ant Games and Arcade 1 Up guys. Much more popular than me. Um, very comprehensive and a little old now as far as content. Phil's he's got a lot of new stuff. This out content's now. old now. So we'll try to keep you up to date on that as Phil releases stuff. Him and I speak pretty frequently. And um, yeah, so hopefully we'll get a chance to try these new products in the future and review them. Um, we're reviewing Phil's main kit here this week while you're watching this interview. So stay tuned for that. I'm lying. Don't listen to me. You mentioned six kids. I want to get back to personal a little bit. Um, do you have any fun hobbies? I, I assume you're probably really close to your family and you, you probably have some weekly activities together, but do you, do you do anything like from a talent perspective out there with your family? Maybe on on Sundays, I'm guessing, maybe? It's, it's, it's self-immolation way of the ranch. I really don't um, care how many people watch me. And, uh, I'm I secure in my manhood. Thing. I'm married. If you, ever, if you ever come to my church, if you're in town, you come to my church, you might see me singing or playing the drums up there. It's, <laughs> well, ladies know. and gentlemen, I'm going to stalk Phil this weekend and get you a clip of him singing. We're going to put it in the pre-show just for you and embarrass Phil. And I'll put it to, um, you'll just see him mouthing the words, but don't worry. I got you, Phil. I'm going to make I'm lying so again. Good. Don't listen to this guy. Uh, wow. He had great Creators intentions. Many ways. But he didn't so execute. Sings and plays drums. That is amazing. Um, I apologize. I have a dog that wants pizza. It's never ending around here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I don't really have any questions for you. Um, do you have anything? If any of you remember you Fifth Element, I'm sorry. Total Let's Recall. Well, you want to know He's a little got bit more six about... mouths to feed. You ever come over, if you ever buy a product and you're local, come on over. I'll show you my backyard. Keep him your business. Back there. I love to build stuff in general, so you can play on the playground. And, uh, and I have chickens too. So Ooh, you got I got I chickens. chickens. Oh, you got chickens too? Oh, yeah, I got eight. Uh, okay. Last night, we're on down stream, to seven. I did a Julia Child's representation of how you make fried rice. And of course, I mentioned my chickens in great length, but I love my girls. I spoil them, they give me the best oh, eggs yeah. in the world. What, what kind of chickens you got? 
I got buff Orpingtons. Uh, let's see here. I've got some Leghorns and uh, Rhode Island Reds. Good and birds. Really go for production. Go for production. Egg yep. production with six kids. It's like yes, Bob. It is. Eggs, so. <laughs> yeah, that's two. That's two. It's a, it's a good problem to have, and uh, I'm giving away eggs at at uh, Kroger, and they give me Starbucks for free. It's it's wonderful. It's it's a good. Oh, point that's really nice. Yeah. Wow. Um, you never know. If you Magic, know. Bob. Um, cool. I don't want to take too much myself. of your time. I know how busy you are. Um, this was designed to be a mini interview. So have you gotten everything you wanted to get out? out? I think so. Yeah, it was great. I'm glad to be able to share some of the new products that are coming out soon. I'm sure. glad to get to know you. Yeah. And, and glad to get to know you too. Yeah, I get to talk a little more, you know, on a personal yeah. level here. That's great. We'll do it again. Um, as we review your products, I'd like to bring you in. You know, and and get your opinion on how we're reviewing your products and stuff. So we'll we'll be talking again. It might not be pizza time, but um, you know. And if you're interested, we should fire up Battle Stream together and uh, compete live, oh. head to head. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. If you have the balls, so to speak. <laughs> um, I had a wonderful time. Thank you for sharing uh, pizza with me tonight, and. I hope you have a see great you, rest of the day. Yeah. Same to you. I'll see you around, man. Yeah. Thanks a lot. And for you who came to watch us, I don't know why you came, but thanks. Um, you're wonderful too, and we really appreciate you. Go buy Phil's products. You won't regret it. I personally guarantee you. He's got that. six mouths to and feed. If I'm wrong. Send me a message and say, Marty, you were wrong. And I'll come back and edit this video and say I was wrong. But I'm not. Go buy Phil's stuff. Have a good day. Yeah. See you later. That's it. That's all you get for a quarter. A um, little behind the scenes. I recorded that with Phil about a year ago. Uh, it was actually October of last year. Um, and Porgy and I, if you don't know who Porgy is, his name is Patrick. He's one of my best friends. But um, he decided at this time last year that he was going to start a business. And he was going to start making virtual pinball cabinets. And he created the business called Lab Arcades. And I lost Porgy. I mean, we're still friends. But um, he had a baby. And, you know, uh, my mentor kind of moved on. So that's why I'm doing what I do today. Um, I do a lot of content around entertaining you with virtual pinball. I'm not highly technical um i'm pretty smart um but i make a lot of those mistakes you guys probably make as well um so my whole purpose once porgy kind of moved on was let's let's make virtual pinball approachable let's make it exciting let's make it entertaining so if anybody questions why i do what i do that's that's the reason um i make absolutely nothing from this in fact i lose money every month but that's my contribution to the hobby it's minimal compared to what other people do if you look at somebody like terry red that spends many hours every day helping others and creating his own stuff you got apophis uh, over at vpw and all the guys in that group there are so many amazing people in this hobby and i just wanted to be a part of it so i found my own way in um, I feel like I've been welcomed by the community and I really appreciate that guys. And, um, yeah, if anybody questions what I'm here for, that's, that's what I'm about. And I, I mean it. So if you need help, if you want to learn more about virtual pinball, please come to our discord. Um, we, we try to help. It's a community effort. We create content together. Myself, Pirate Pones, Ninja, and Paladin are the core of the group. But there's a lot of other streamers. You've got Lucifer Bob. You've got Todd Russell. You've got Dax, Celine, so many. I, I don't want to leave anybody out. But go to vpinhub.com. We have a page there under live for streamers and content creators. Um, check out everybody. It's well worth your time. And we like to support each other and promote the VPN Hub community. So um, come be a part of it. We'd love to have you. Thank you for coming today. 
I wanted to test multi-streaming because this evening we will be uh, premiering a table for Herbski X and Merlin RTP as well as a a lot of other folks that had have put their hands into this table since it was originally um, conceived. So I'm going to give you a brief preview. It, this is an older preview, about nine months old. The table looks completely different now. Um, but here's a sample of what you can expect tonight. 7 p.m. Eastern right here. We'll stream for about an hour. We'll be with the author. And then at 9 p.m. Eastern, we come right back here and we do our weekly FX3 tournament. I don't know what tables we're playing tonight because I, I have to go watch my VOD from last week and remember. But come play with us. It's fun. And I got some raffle prizes. There is a great horror beneath the manor. Thank a you, Brian. Crawling chaos that must be destroyed. The task ahead is terrible. And weakness cannot be tolerated. My obsession caused this great foulness. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. <laughs> I'll see you tonight. We're going to raid Todd Russell, who's currently playing Blood Machines. Be good to each other and to yourself. Bye.